Hey guys, last day of World's Strongest Man. At the end of this video, we will know who is the winner of the World's Strongest Man 2021. So when we left you guys yesterday, three events had taken place already. Tom Stoltman with a dominating performance, a five and a half point lead over Brian Shaw, who was in second place. Incredible performance yesterday, only dropping one and a half points out of a possible 30. What a first day for Tom. But we're on to day two, starting off with the log lift. Let's take a look at the results. So the opening weight of the log was 170 kilos. All the athletes managed that, but moving up from 170 to 185, we lost Adam Bishop. He yeah. was the first athlete out. And then we had a tie between Ethor and Tom Stoltman, which was the big surprise. Yes. Tom, after that brilliant lead in the event, uh, after day one, dropping some points in the first, uh, first event of day two. The good news for him was Brian only managed one extra lift. So Brian Shaw tying with Constantine Janasha and the warhorse JF Caron after tearing his hamstring in event one. He's not pulled out, he's battling on, and he still went and hit a 195 kilo log. The guy's incredible. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> it really is. He's just superhuman, never gives up. I think it's why everyone loves JF as well. Yeah, he he's never complains either. He's just one of those guys that gives 100% every time he competes, never whinges, never moans. And I know how disappointed he was when he, he tore it. He messaged me and, you know, we had a, a little chat, but there's no way that man pulls out. He will fight till the end. So then we had three athletes hitting the 205 log. So that was Maxime Boudreau, Trey Mitchell and Bobby Thompson. Bobby, it looked quite dramatic when he went for the 215. I yeah, think he Bobby got out. within inches of getting the 215, apparently. He was so close, just blacked out fell to the ground, looked quite nasty, but yeah. luckily he's okay. Should probably point out as well, there was a few rumours that Tom was injured. Absolute rubbish. Tom is absolutely fine. He's battling on, you know, and he's determined to win this competition. But the big news and big points for the other Stoltman. Mm. Luke Stoltman taking the win, lifting 215 kilos, doing it pretty easily as well from, from everything that I've heard. Big maximum points yes. for Luke on event one of day two. So what does that do to the overall? It's really exciting now because we've gone from a 5.5 point gap <laughs> to a three point gap now going into the deadlift. The question for me is what shape Brian came in yes. um, on these type of events. Brian in his prime yes. was, extra, was probably one of the best deadlifters on the planet. He was a world record holder at the time, yeah. but his recent performances on deadlift haven't been the best. So going into the deadlift, three points still behind, Everything to play for. Let's see what happened. Oh man, we just watched the deadlifts and I cannot believe what's happening. I just want to be there watching from home, getting the results coming in it's from hard, isn't it? friends and from spreadsheets and everything else is extremely hard to cope with. I honestly, honestly feel so much for you when you were watching from home. My mum, all the partners that can't be there with their, with their, pa with, with the athletes is terrible. And Exciting at the same time, I have to say. It's thrilling, isn't it? I told you, the spreadsheet rules, honestly. So, the deadlift has had some crazy results. Let's quickly go through them because Adam Bishop went out first and we all know how good a deadlifter Adam is. Smashing out 10 repetitions with mm. the 350 kilo deadlift. Mm. Matching Adam was JF Karan. Now, let's remember, JF has a torn hamstring <laughs> and Trey Mitchell. Those three guys all doing 10 repetitions, scoring big points but we know that's not what you're interested. It's the big news, come on. <laughs> All right, Brian Shaw tying the deadlift in joint second place, if you like, with Bobby Thompson on nine repetitions. And then we have another tie with Tom Stoltman and Constantine Janasha on eight repetitions. After that, we had Ethel with seven, Luke Stoltman, the winner of the log with six, and then Maxime, uh, down in last place on the deadlift with three repetitions. We always knew that was going to be a tough event for both Maxime and... That was um, their worst Luke. event in the yeah. competition. But obviously, we want to see what this has done to the overall. So, Lizzie, explain to us. It's done crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> so now, as you can see on the screen, one point difference between Tom Stoltman and Brian Shaw in first and second place. Now, let me explain. Going into the stones, there is no count back. So even though Tom has won more events, even if Brian Shaw wins the stones, he wins overall. Even if Tom's second and they're joint on points, it comes down at World's Strongest Man to who 
wins yeah. the Atlas Stones if they're tied on points. Yeah, so let's assume Tom and Brian come first and second in stone. If Tom wins the stones, he's he won. beats Brian. Yeah, he's won by two points overall. If Brian wins the stones and they become equal points, he still wins overall because... Brian wins overall Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry, because the stones would be the tiebreaker. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited <laughs> and I can't believe it's actually come down to the stone off after uh, yesterday. After that five and a half point lead, I really... I, I thought... Tom was going to run away with it. Yeah. Fair play to Brian to, oh, to yeah. claw it back. I told you, it's Father's Day. It is Father's Day, but I still <laughs> believe Tom is... The, I mean, I do believe Tom is the best stone lifter on the planet, but there's pressure, and there's Brian is pressure. used to being in this situation. He's been in this situation before against the likes of Zadrunas, yeah. you know, where it's all come down to and the Atlas Stones. come out on top before as well. He has done, but look how close it is for third place as well. Yeah. 29 points, you've got Luke Stoltman. 29 points, Trey Mitchell. 27 and a half points, Maxime Boudreau. 27 and a half points, Constantine Janasha. And just behind them, JF Caron battling on with this torn hamstring with 27 points. So that's two, two points. points separating five guys. And as we said, if they end up tied, it still counts for these positions as well. Yeah. So. All to play for on the Atlas Stones. Probably one of the closest World's Strongest Man competitions I can ever remember. Yeah, same. Absolutely. You usually see that gap. I mean, there's a bit of a gap now, obviously, between Tom and Tom Brian and, Brian and have the that. rest. They're quite safe, especially with it being Atlas Stones. Those guys are specialists in this event. I wouldn't expect any, any you know, massive shifts one up thing there. I will say... Anything can happen on stones. Oh, I know. And I've, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen platforms fall down. I've seen stones go over platforms. Do you remember when Mike Burke um, knocked that platform over? Yeah. I was stood at the other end of the platform and came flying towards me. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> oh. All down to the stones. It's going to be crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. The Atlas Stone results are in. Wow. How exciting was that? We've literally come from our live... Which was, was terrifying. Mental, absolutely <laughs> mental. And now we've seen the official results and times. A couple of heartbreaking moments. But let's let's get into it because, you know, starting off with Bobby Thompson had to he decided yeah. not to do the stones. Pulled out. I'm not sure if there's an injury there. Um sad to see someone pull out, especially that close to the end of the competition. Yeah. So then um, we had, so obviously they're working in pairs now. Um, oh no, actually, in fact, Aethor had to go on his own. Yeah, because Bobby, Bobby pulled out, out. Yeah. he had Aethor going on his own. He managed four stones in... 33.65 seconds. We will get the um, points up on the screen for you, but... Little we bit don't wanna, of drama. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of suspense building if you actually don't know the results. And you probably do if you're yeah. here. So then we had... Um, Adam Bishop, he did four in 30.61. JF Caron, he absolutely smashed it, really, smashed didn't it. he? Considering Consi he's got a bloody hamstring tear, 15 centimetres. Hamstring tear on the first event of the final. He's battled through, did 10 reps on the deadlift. Yeah. Imagine if it was 100%. I know. I didn't think crazy. JF could get the top five 100% this year. Yeah. The man is just a machine to yeah. finish that strong at world's strongest man and be injured. Oh man, he's just Think incredible. What he's capable of. And then Maxime Boudreau also absolutely smashing it, doing five stones in 28.63 seconds. I told you Maxime was you good. You told at stones. me Maxime was good. You did indeed. I did. Right, so, but the the first, I mean, major battle, I guess, was between Trey Mitchell and Luke Stoltman. This is where one of our other heartbreak moments occurred. Luke has done so incredibly well, not just through the heats, he battled through the, the toughest heat, yes, made it to yes. the final, consistent performance after consistent performance, done incredibly well day one. Unfortunately, down he's he's tripped on the stones. He's fallen with he, the stones, yeah, hasn't he? He's ended up in eighth place on the Atlas Stones. And it's cost him, going from the podium, he slipped down to seventh. We knew how close that battle was, was between those guys. So Sad to see Luke slip down. Trey Mitchell, he did five stones in 37 seconds. Very similar time to JF. JF, in fact, slightly quicker than Trey. And you wouldn't choose JF out of those two, would you? Trey has been, you know, cited as one of the best stone lifters on the planet indeed but let's just get to the main one the big one so tom versus brian whoever won this was the winner of world's strongest man lozzy tell us who won tom wins 
I am so over the moon. I mean, if you saw the, the reaction on our live video, I think, you know. Firstly, I've seen the video since. Yes. Luke jumping out there to support his brother. As devastated as Luke would be, the fact that he kind of, you know, still wants his brother to do it so much. Yeah. It's just, it's heartwarming, isn't it? Oh, he I can't of, wait to see the actual, it's going to be a real blood fest, and isn't I, it? And I have to say, you know, what a champion Brian Shaw yes. is. Brian has had not the best kind of few years in Strongman. You know, he was the... Considering he, where he was in Strongman. He was the best of all time, well, or one of the best of yeah. all time. And for the last five years, he's not been, you know, he's, he's always a great Strongman, but he, he's kind of started to slip and slip. But this year he came back. He looked incredible. He had a, a, a tough first day. He didn't have a bad first day. No, you know, he had a tough first Tom day. Tom was freakishly Tom was good. amazing. Yeah. And he battled back to within one point going into the Atlas Stones. Yeah. It shows what a true champion he is. He's a great pioneer for the sport. He yeah. does so much for the sport. He's brought so many new fans into the sport. Yeah. So I want to say well done to Brian. And whatever yeah. he decides to do, whether he's going to retire or keep going, I think everyone will support him. Oh, yeah. And hopefully he keeps going because he's so good for the sport. He is. But... Today is all about Tom Stoltman, the spicy Stoltman. But they, at one point, it could have been in the top three. Yeah. Let's give credit to Maxime Boudreau coming in yes. and coming third in his first ever yeah. final at World's Strongest Man. He's become third place. Yeah. Huge performance by Maxime. Incredible. Trey Brian Mitchell in Shaw, fourth. Yeah, Trey in fourth. And, and JF Curran taking fifth as well. Still in fifth. Two Canadians in the top five. Two Americans, but on top of the podium... Scotland's first ever World's Strongest Man. The one and only Tom the Albatross Stoltman. Congratulations, buddy. I hope everyone has enjoyed our World's Strongest Man coverage. We'll probably come back tomorrow. Now we've had time to sleep on it and think about it. Just We'll just do a real a in-depth analysis yeah. and, and kind of go through a few more things. I've got a few chats coming up with the Stoltman's coach. Cool. Um, hopefully we get a chat with Tom as well at some point. But I really hope you've enjoyed our coverage uh, of the World's Strongest Man 2021. Liz and myself are buzzing, actually. I was really tired before this, and now I'm yeah. probably going to be up for the next few hours. Yeah. Just because I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. But I hope you've enjoyed the, the week's videos, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. The support from all of you has just been absolutely incredible. But what a night for Tom Stoltman. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.